In this video, we will complete the chassis started in the previous lesson. To do so, we need to add the four wheel mounts and to complete the hardware. First, zoom in on the area of interest. Add a circular pattern from the linear component pattern drop-down. For the axis, select the first hole of the outer C-frame, and make sure the equal spacing box is not enabled. Set the spacing to 90 degrees and add two instances. In the components to pattern box, select the initial bolt and nut. Hit reverse if necessary and click OK to accept the feature. After that, repeat the steps on the other side. To add these parts in the adjacent corner, use another linear component pattern. Select an edge of the outer C-frame for the direction and add two instances at a distance of 20 inches. In Components to Pattern, delete any existing selection, then select the two corner extrusions, the initial bolt and nut, and the three patterns created so far. Notice the preview of the parts to be patterned. Then click OK. A linear pattern would not be appropriate for the other two corners because we need the parts to be turned 180 degrees. We will need an axis for a circular pattern. First, go to Reference Geometry and select Plane. Add a plane between the two surfaces as shown. Go again to Reference Geometry and select Axis. Expand the Feature Manager to choose the right plane and create an axis at its intersection with the plane we've just created. Now we can add the circular pattern. Select the axis you created for the pattern axis, enable equal spacing and type 2 for the number of instances. In Components to Pattern, select the initial hardware parts and the other four patterns we created. It is now time to add the wheel mounts. You can either use the four assemblies provided or create the different configurations for each corner yourself. Insert the front right wheel mount assembly and add a coincident mate between the top surface of the bracket and the bottom surface of the outer C-frame. Continue by adding two concentric mates between the bracket and the C-frame. For this, you can use either two holes on the outer side or on the inner side of the bracket. Note that the two top surfaces of the bracket are not perfectly horizontal, so you should use the holes on the side selected for the coincident mate. Otherwise, you will get an error because the circular surfaces are not aligned. Click OK and then insert the other three wheel mounts and mate them in the same way. Notice how the wheels are arranged in a symmetrical fashion, with all the gears towards the inside, but with slightly different configurations. Zoom in on the front right corner. Hold Ctrl down and click and drag to copy one bolt. Then place it in the second hole of the C-frame with the appropriate mates. Repeat the process to add a nut. We now need a shorter bolt, so copy one of the existing ones, then right-click on it in the Feature Manager and select Configure Component. Use the drop-down to select the other configuration of this part. This saves you time because you don't have to create two different parts, but rather two configurations of the same component. Make this bolt into the last hole of the bracket. To easily attach a nut to this bolt, right-click on the frame and change transparency. Copy an existing nut and start mating it. Use right-click Select Other to easily select faces that are not directly available. When finished, right-click and change back the transparency of the C-frame. Use the linear component pattern to add these two pairs of nuts and bolts to the other side of the bracket. Set the distance to 5 inches.
Next, use the Mirror Components feature to add these to the other corners. First about the right plane of the chassis, and then about the plane we created in the beginning of the video. Notice the new parts added to the assembly. The chassis base is now complete.